Okay, there's a new version of Moby Pocket Reader out that has several advantages and refinements. Uh, you can download it direct from the internet, uh, www.mobypocket.com, or do a Google search for Moby Pocket Reader. Uh, so let's go and let's take a look. And click on Start and click on Moby Pocket. Now you can see the first thing that happens in this version is it opens straight to your library. It's going to show you all the uh, all the ebooks that it can read right away. So we'll go ahead and choose one. Okay, now uh, there's a number of ways you can page through this. We'll just start with the real basics. You can tap in the margin here and that will page down. Likewise, the other size will page up. <clears throat> you can also scroll down using your so-called action key on the, the bottom. That's the four-way pad uh, on the bottom of the screen. Uh, and there are other ways as well, but we'll leave it at that for the moment. Now, <clears throat> you can see across the bottom here, you have a number of icons. See, Let me see if I can line that up a little better. <clears throat> you have a number of icons. Uh, this uh, symbol here with the multiple books, that's going to show you your library. And as I said, we uh, will open another one up here. The, you have a, a home screen, which you can go to by tapping on the house symbol here. This uh, symbol here with the little sort of odd-shaped figures is for screen rotation. So you can go from... Uh, regular portrait mode, which this is, to landscape mode, and thereby you get a wider reading area. This symbol is for auto-scroll. You can set the screen to move by itself, which is very handy if you want to read at night and you don't want to have to be tapping. You can, uh, you can also configure that to move at different speeds. Now, you can do that. Again, you're going to use your action key, which is the four-way pad below the screen. If you press down, it's going to, it'll slow down the rate of scroll. As you can see now, it's moving quite slow. I'm going to press in the up direction, and you can see it's going to pick up, and it's going to start scrolling faster. So that's, that's how you can adjust the, the auto-scroll. Very handy feature. Okay, I'm going to tap to stop the auto scroll. Now the next symbol here is for the font size. And it's very simple the way that works. You simply tap on, here let me move down to where we have a page of text. You simply tap on the font symbol and it will gradually make the font size bigger until it reaches its maximum size, at which point it will go back to the smallest size that is available which is this one here. Of course, that's sort of small, especially when you're doing a video, so let's go back to a bigger size. Uh, we have a back arrow key here. Tap on that, it's going to go back to the, the last action. And here we have a menu. <clears throat> now, this is nice because it, it gives you uh, options, for example, memory in info. That's going to show you how much memory you have available on your machine. Uh, I have a storage card here that's using 4. Point, or it's saying it's got 4.5 uh, megabytes free storage. So obviously that's uh, I've got a lot of stuff on that memory card. Okay, uh, let's open a, another one here and go down a few pages. Back to the menu, uh, you see there's a display uh, here. Now this is this is nice because we can rotate the screen and then we can also go to display and tell it full screen. So you see now, not only do we have the landscape reading mode, but we also have the full width of the screen without any menus or what have you to take up our precious reading space. And we can revert back simply by uh, uh, going down and uh, uh, at the top and uh, 
going back to the normal display. Uh, now another uh, thing we can do here is we can also change the font size here. Uh, we can add a bookmark. If we want to come back to a particular place, all you've got to do is click on bookmark and then you'll be able to search for that bookmark. You might can see the little arrow here that uh, will allow you to move quickly through your book. and uh, Or you can go to the first page here. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Okay, and we'll, let's go back to our regular uh, rotation. Okay, now uh, another thing I want to show you here just briefly, and that is the find feature. You can search for a particular word or a phrase. Oops, got out of Moby Pocket. Let's go back in. Okay, and close that out. Now, under options, we have a lot of nice features. We can change the, the text color, the background color, a uh, number of things. So, for example, we have a glare problem. Let's change our text color to a light yellow, and let's go black on the background. We can click OK. And now you can see we, we've changed the text color on our background. Very handy if you have a problem with glare. Okay, you can change the size of the margins. You can change the line spacing. You can change whether you want to justify the text. That means whether you want to have even margins on either edge of the screen. Here you can choose what you want on the toolbar. So on that that bar at the uh, this bar that runs across the bottom of the screen, you can actually select different options that you want there. With this uh, buttons selection here, you can use the buttons that are on the machine to choose different functions. So that that again is handy. And then we have a library function, which is you can select different sorts of files that you want displayed in your library. If you only want text files displayed, you can just check text files. Okay, I think that pretty well covers this particular program. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and close that down, and I hope that's of, of help to you. This really is a nice little upgrade, so I encourage you to get it.